all right, let's let's do this thing. <clears throat> hey everyone, I am Cynix, and this is the weekly Patreon supported live stream thing that seems to be filling up my YouTube channel every week. Um, yep, and it's a lot of fun. But anyway, I think today we're actually going to. I don't know. I was messing around, just drawing stuff, trying to warm up. Um, I think what we'll focus on today is just drawing stuff from either crazy perspectives or just unconventional angles. I'm kind of working on that stuff that might make us a better better artist overall. We're going to try to improve our, our mental ability to kind of construct things in three-dimensional space. Um, because I feel like that's the most important thing when it comes to getting good at art. Uh, it's, it's not so much like being really good at anatomy or any of that stuff, although that helps, but it's really going to come down to your ability to just kind of, um, squeeze things into your 3D perspective brain. Uh, that's going to, that's going to make things look fun. So... Anyway, uh, as always, I got my chat here. You guys can ask questions if they come up and, uh, you know, make suggestions. You're free to do anything you want. Um, and just as a little heads up, I have been sick this week. So my voice is, I don't know. We'll see how it holds up. It, it sometimes gets a little dry and scratchy from just being sicker than normal. But hopefully it works out. So anyway... Uh, let's just jump right in and start doodling for a little bit, see how things are going. Um, so yeah, I, well, I guess I can mention that. So yeah, I did these, just a couple faces, just to kind of try. I always think this uh, different angles are kind of tricky. And I've always had trouble drawing stuff. Um, well, no, I, I wouldn't say I've always had trouble. But uh, I think it's always tricky to draw stuff uh, like from upside down perspective or just like really weird things like that. Um, because you you kind of get wrapped up. Like if you just try it for the first time, um, you'll find that you tend to make you know like the forehead too big or something. You know because you're you're thinking about it and you're trying to flip things in your mind. Um, but uh, maybe you make the forehead really big, or you can't figure out how to place the eyes, and it just kind of looks weird. So you got to kind of get out of that mindset that you're just drawing what you normally draw. You know, you're drawing a normal face and flipping it. Um, because it's a little more complicated than that. You just want to try to take away the things that make it a normal face and uh, just kind of view it as these collections of 3D objects in space. Um, and maybe that'll help. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, so anyway, um, I don't know why I'm drawing a face over here. So yeah, that's that was my example of what not to do, I guess. I don't know what that was. Um, so, oh, so you guys are, you know, I feel like you guys are free to suggest like different angles or perspective type things in your head if you want to. Um, and I'm sorry, when I when I refer to perspective, I'm mainly just referring to like uh, crazy dynamic, uh, like foreshortening type things. So for instance, instead of drawing things just, you know, on this flat two dimensional plane, we want to kind of think about objects moving away from us or toward us. So let's see if I can mess around with that real fast and get some empty space, clear some room. Okay. So let's see, what can we try? I mean, I've done a lot of things that just consist of, you know, the giant kind of top down view kind of look. So that's, that's nothing that interesting. I feel like I can fake it if I have to. Um, but let's try, let me think. Oh, what's what's a good starting point? <laughs> um, uh, well, uh, Mr. Uh, UHH is asking if I ever measure out perspective or do I just do it by eye? Um, I've never measured it out. Um, I always just kind of eyeball it. So for instance, if I'm drawing, uh, what can I do? Let's just draw like an arm or something going back away from us real fast. Something really basic. So I have this kind of idea that the arm's gonna be going back into space, you know, like this way. Ooh, I'm gonna try to quickly draw an arrow. Um, so yeah, we're kind of looking at it and it's going back into space that way. Um, so I can just kind of eyeball it and, you know, obviously since this is such a two point kind of perspective, you can just kind of 
brain in your brain you can just form those kind of vanishing points and be like okay it's gonna get you getting a lot smaller uh, but when it comes to like the actual hand and stuff you know it's just gonna it's gonna, gonna it's just gonna be like kind of eyeballing what seems like it makes sense so there we go i mean that's just really simple idea but th this is what i'm talking about just like drawing stuff and lots of foreshortening lots of stuff getting smaller bigger whatever you want to do i think we could do the same thing the other way let's try it first of all let's see if i could draw this uh draw the the little arrow here coming the other way really test my skills oh i don't think i could do it okay nope that's that's a terrible looking arrow but you know whatever we'll live with it we'll live with our ugly arrow and that's that's kind of something i should be practicing a lot more uh okay so let's see we got a hand looks like we got one finger facing out the show i can actually put the finger maybe facing facing the camera this might be a fun exercise i don't know where it's gonna go i didn't i don't really plan these out that much um but let's let's assume that we got our finger here looks like the other fingers can kind of be squeezed together a little bit i don't know what i want to do with them oh that's that's kind of ugly <laughs> um uh, do i like that i don't like that but i'm gonna leave it for now no i don't want to leave it for now okay gonna start with this and i like to start with at least something and then i can just kind of build everything off of it so there's gonna be my finger i can build the thumb that's gonna be pretty simple because it's going very like perpendicular to the view um, so i'm not too worried about that one and then I can kind of build up my hand a little bit. And now I just got to figure out the other fingers. Because those are going to be a little bit trickier. Things like how far forward do I want to make them? I don't know. It uh, doesn't look pretty so far. Actually, I think I'll lower them down a bit. Okay. Let's pretend they're kind of coming forward into the camera a little bit. Oops, and let me center this a little too. Okay. So if it's not quite pointed at the camera, I can, you know, keep things relatively simple. If it is pointing at the camera, I gotta kind of warp things a lot more. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not great. I'm gonna leave it though just for now so I don't I could spend a whole lot of time just kind of trial and errings <laughs> trial and erroring I guess that's the word trial and erroring something until it looks right but I don't want to do that that's what I would do if I was trying to make a finished illustration though I just keep going like okay this finger is no good and uh, when you guys see me often control zing nonstop it's really just because I'm uh I'm kind of trying to visualize something and it's a lot easier to visualize something if you have a, a markdown on the page rather than trying to visualize it in your head because you can look at you can look at a line on a piece of paper and say like okay now I know what I want to do but if you just try to do it otherwise it'll be a lot more complicated um, so anyway okay so we got our hand here kind of and uh, let's see we're gonna make it go back this way I guess okay well the problem with this is you're not even gonna see it because it's way too small <laughs> that's that's the major problem it's gonna be behind everything so it's kind of pointless but yeah you can say like the hands going back and this is gonna be the shoulder area right here uh, let's see now I could I can make it a little more complicated maybe I could uh, draw a little bit of torso maybe just to have some fun with it. Maybe they're like, you know, bending back, reaching, reaching forward something. I can, yeah, this could be like a leg. I don't like the, the whole tangents of this are like terrible though. So it's like, what's the point? What's the point of messing with it? I bet I can make it look like he's standing on his own hand. Should be fun. 
That would be like some MC Escher S thing. Make someone look like they're just standing on themselves. Okay, but anyway, enough sidetrack. <laughs> enough getting sidetracked. Um, so yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep messing around for a little bit. I'm gonna see what you guys are saying because I've been kind of annoyed. Okay, you guys want to see butts? Okay, butts are good. I mean, we'll we'll throw in some butts. You know, get some butts in perspective because it is like actually a surprisingly important thing. Um, and I, I guess that's 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 all I'm seeing from you guys. A lot of butt talk. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> Question, what is, this is by T Beats Neats. Uh, what is a good online art community now that CG Hub is gone? Oh, that's tough because I don't know. I don't know any art, good art communities. My my advice at this point is just to build your own. Not not from the ground up, but I would just go to like, a, you know, Psychernet or something and just... Something that's like young and doesn't have like a big history and is pretty just free to do what you want. And you could just build a community there. That's what I would be doing if I were you guys. I would just be creating creating like minded people that just want to get better. And then in uh, you know, in however many years, maybe five years, you guys will all be like, Hey, remember the good old days at uh at Psychernet Forms and we used to all be friends, now everyone's all famous and awesome. Okay. Um, let's see. What was I gonna draw? I forgot. Okay, just gonna go over here and draw some figures. So let's we can start with some butts or something. I don't know. Butts are easy. So basically, when I think of like a the butt and hips shape, we're always doing like this weird uh kind of like pentagon. But, you know, it's not like a evenly spaced pentagon. But the hips always kind of go into the waist and then they come out. And if you just have the butt, you know, you might just have the butt, the buttocks somewhere in there. It's flapping around. Um, but I like to f at least form the pelvis out of this shape. Just kind of simplify things. At least the, the top part. It's always, I always like to have it at least fold in a little bit. And then you can figure out what you want to do afterward. So, I mean, you can make it go like upward and weird. You can make the body curve around. And uh, this is really just kind of a guideline, but it doesn't need to be there. And actually, I would make this probably far further forward. If I was going from this angle, make it poke out. So the hip bone's like poking out. You want to try to add as many angles because... Uh, I feel like uh, some people get very round with all their organic shapes. Like there's no weight in a round ball. This this doesn't show weight at all. So you wanna like try to make shapes that are more like interesting, have some sags in them, have some like at least slight angles. I like to bring in harder angles. Um, but get away from just thinking of things like, oh, here's the body and you know, round, round, round. Um, anyway. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So I guess we could, I'm just going to be talking about anatomy stuff, it looks like. So I always like to, once I had draw the torso, you can see I just did like a really basic torso. And then afterward, I personally like to add the shoulder blades like afterward, because those are like my next big landmark. So this, this, this shoulder blade over here is going to depend on what I want this arm to do. So if I wanted the arm to just like hang back here, like hang back behind them, like super casual or whatever, like they're sticking their chest out, um, I would make the shoulder blade kind of come back, maybe even overlap the spinal area and just kind of lean forward. Otherwise, you know, if I want their, their arm to come forward, I would make it like this. So once again, I'm using these shapes that I just know in my brain from uh, drawing a lot, the shapes I like to use anyway. So like this is maybe a shoulder blade, you know, completes completes the whole section. I, I kind of combine the shoulder and the shoulder blade. Once again, you'll draw, you'll have your own tricks. If these tricks help you kind of move along, that's good too. I don't care. I don't care if you steal my stuff. It doesn't really matter. 
Okay, so we can have boobs out here if we want. Um, and uh, yeah, see, I can put the arm forward like this. And if I want, you know, I'll add, just kind of add these parts in. I can add this whole shoulder muscle to the top part. And then once I have that, you know, I can just do my arm. I'm completely drawing into my guy over here, but that's whatever. Maybe I could lower this arm. I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. So you see how I set up this shoulder area? I don't want to start my arm like right from the edges of everything. I want to kind of start it inward a little bit. That just makes things look like they're, I don't know, slightly, slightly more interesting. The silhouette anyway. And obviously when you have this spinal column, I can use this to come up with the back of the neck as well. We're just gonna learn everything about anatomy today. Should have called this the anatomy stream, but we will do more crazy perspective stuff too. So you can see that I used this whole spinal shape to come up with the back of the neck and I got that there. So it's like, we're, we're just piecing it out with our brain. We're using our amazing brain power to slowly piece out a human figure and just making it up as we go. So a lot of the making it up part comes from tangent stuff. So like for instance, I could be like, mm, I think, I think it would be a fun tangent to have this arm go back this way, you know, like, cause then we have a triangle here. It's kind of fun. Got some shapes, um, but I could be like, oh, what, you know, it might also be just fun to go back this way. And this is very like flowy dancerish. I don't know what it would what I'd say about it. And this is also in our brain, we can piece together the foreshortening stuff. So if I wanted to go back directly into space away from us, um, I would just kind of be like this, you know, make it make it a interesting shape though. Once again, not just a boring circle or anything. We want to we want to always visualize the chunks of anatomy as more interesting shapes, and those shapes will come, you know, naturally to you. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we got an arm there. We got an arm there. With the head, it's kind of interesting. We can make it kind of go wherever we want. I'm I'm running out of room up top though. Sometimes the next landmark I like to make is actually the ear, which is fun because that'll kind of position my head. And, you know, I don't want the head to be going back too much. But anyway, you get it. So we got this butt here. We can we can round it off if we want. Add little like dimply stuff like there's the butt dimples that always go above like the, the upper the upper crack. I don't know what the words are. We just use our own terminology, though. So there you go. That's like butt cleavage zone. Like you can give them underwear and have butt cleavage if you want. It can be like a very, you know, artsy or whatever. Um, and uh, then there will be always the little dimples and you can render these however you want. You can make little circles. You can actually render them out. Um, do whatever you want. I don't know what this line is, but you know, just kind of fun anatomy stuff. And once again, you'll kind of pick up on however you want to do it on your own. You'll have your own tricks. So that's about it. Uh, let's, let's move on to the leg a little bit. So you don't really see it from this angle, but this, the leg is actually the widest kind of at the bottom of my whole little pentagon shape. Um, so if we were looking at it from the front view, we would see that, but from the side, not so much. Um, but we can still kind of just make it a little wider. And anytime we're doing limbs, we want to do this, you know, the slight, uh, the slight rounded shape. We don't just want to do straight lines, although we can get away with it if we want to. Once again, personal style, but I always think it's fun to do. And, oh, okay, I should add this. Not just like this, not just ellipses. Ellipses? Are those? No. Wait, those aren't ellipses. Hold on. Come on, brain. Um, uh, my, well, my brain's not working right now, probably because I have a cold, but, um, parenthesis, no, okay, whatever, you know, instead, <laughs> instead of just these things, uh, we want them to actually be rounder at one side and then kind of narrow out. So once again, this not organic, or I'm sorry, this is not an organic shape, really. This far more organic shape. So we're always trying to make things more organic. 
even like uh, I would say like making weird little angles, but just kind of offsetting things, doing things that aren't too geometric is always a good idea. Okay. So anyway, once again, I can kind of flow things out, flesh things out as they go along. And when it comes to like the uh, the knee, you can kind of just stick the knee in front of stuff if you want. I don't know how much of the knee we'd be seeing from this angle, probably not much. And then below the leg, I think someone was asking to do that stuff. Um, it's kind of the same shape actually, it's, it's even easier. Think of it like the top of the, like uh, the arm shapes. And we can make one kind of more straight if we want. Once again, we can offset them a little bit. So we think of our calf, it's gonna be back up in here. Uh, we got our knee obviously in the front part. So we can kind of, you know, play with that a little bit, play with it like this. You see how there's still a little bit of curvy action going on, uh, but the curves are very offset. So it just makes it more fun. And uh, let's make one that's kind of going back into space just to be fun a little bit. I don't think that'll work though. We haven't really established it. Well, let me think real fast. How can I, what's the most perspective I can do on this? Um, it's hard to say. I don't like that knee for the record. Oops, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll try, I'll try to read questions too. If you guys have questions about this uh, kind of perspective, anatomy stuff, whatever it might be. Man, I, hmm, okay. Okay, I can kick a leg forward. I think that might work actually. So let's try to kick a leg forward into space and see how that goes. Yeah, see, that's kind of fun. Let me fix that a little bit. Um, so you can see here, once again, I'm just kind of, I'm using a little bit more flat lines because uh, the, the curves are getting compressed by the perspective. So it's going back. I want to focus more on, you know, going back away from us. So like converging lines, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, but I still want to bring in these, these strong shapes because it's fun, <laughs> because we want to have our pretty art. Um, so you can see here, the knee kind of pops in front and the bottom, this back part, this back curve, you see this back part of the leg? And we're actually going to think about this connecting into the knee a little bit. Like that's going to be one of our guidelines for the knee. So it's going to be like that. And so when we're doing it from this angle, we want to have the knee kind of as its own object, but we can still kind of connect it in very loosely to this other stuff. Um, so anyway, and uh, we can, what can we have the foot doing? I don't know. Just being boring, I guess. Sorry, foot. We don't really care about you right now. It's hard to get it right when it's so tiny. Okay, whatever. We got a foot. Maybe it's kicking a ball or something. You know, pew. Doesn't really matter. Actually, if we're kicking a ball, we probably want it to have some stretchiness like this. It's more fun. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> I don't really care about that. Um. So there you go, that's kind of something. Obviously, we don't really have to worry too much about the hair, but I mean the head, because we can always just add hair and make it crazy and fun. Like, look at me, I'm a party girl, I got a ponytail and stuff. It's kind of silly. And uh, let's see. Clothes would be simple. Obviously, you can just kind of follow these curves in your brain. Oops, I don't like that though, okay. Um, once again, think of clothes as these complicated like panel lines. So we can actually kind of use them the same way on a mech, we use panel lines to describe the form better. Uh, we can use clothes the same way to kind of describe the form if we need to. Um, so like this, this whole body, like we can go like this and kind of go in and whatnot. And it can work out maybe. I don't know. I don't really, it doesn't really matter that much to be honest. <laughs> uh, 
okay, whatever. Let's uh, see, I could, you know, then I'd get rid of all these lines that are underneath the lines. Uh, but it doesn't really make a difference right now. I don't want to turn this into a thing about clothing. Oops, let me get rid of that. Okay, so, and that's some example of something. See, it's it's a really stupid pose. It reminds me of like the whole, you know, learning to do art stuff where you see Donald Duck and whatever, you know, it's like, this is a good action line. This is a bad action line where it's just like everything in different directions. It's like, hey, look at me. Okay. Um. Uh, 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 uh. uh let's see. What do you, what do you guys want to see? What do you, I'm I'm open for suggestions if you got any or like questions about different uh different like parts or different angles that you guys think are really difficult. Like you can go ahead and go ahead and ask them. And I will do my best to help out. Okay. <clears throat> Make her kick or punch us in the face. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Um, can I do a punch? I could do someone punching us, I think. Maybe. Let me see what I can do. Okay, I'm gonna come down here. Let's see, well, I don't know. Once again, we're just gonna make it up as we go along. So, actually, let's go really wide on this. Maybe we can pretend someone's punching us in the stomach or something, I don't know. I'm not really sure where this will go, but we'll see. It'll be amusing. So this is just going to be an arm. We're not going to see the fist because they're just going to assume they're punching us right off, right through the page. Um, let's see. Punch, punch, punch. I'm trying to think of what this should look like. This does not look like a punch. It looks too, uh, huh. Uh, let's see, think, think, think. Um, what? no, I don't want to do this. I feel like I can hold on. I might, I might come back to that, but there's so many different questions. And that one will take me a while. Okay. Let me just scroll up a little because I see a lot of questions all of a sudden. Worm's eye view. Okay, that's the kind of dumb, that's the kind of dumb challenge I like. Actually, maybe I could probably could have used this for my worm's eye view. Oh well. Okay, let's see. Is there a worm view on the? Okay, I got it. We're gonna draw it like a where there's a worm and a person's walking toward them or something. Uh, let's see. So this. I'm gonna start with whatever's closest. So let's say assume the, the big toe is closest or something. It's it's that part of the stream that you guys love so much, the foot fetish. We're in the foot fetish. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing. We're in the Tarantino zone right now. 
and don't worry, it'll be over shortly. I don't think we'd actually see this much under the foot though. I should have made the toe lower. We're getting like a little too low to be a worm. We're getting like the ground view. We want the worm view. Okay, just to make you guys feel awkward, I'm going to add some hair to the toe knuckle so it's not as pretty anymore. That'll really ruin your day. And I need to balance this out a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Oops, let me raise this up. Okay, great. Uh, okay, someone was asking about how to draw a foot on the ground from the side, so I'm going to do that real fast, actually. We'll assume this guy's other foot is facing away from us. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see. Could have a foot over here. Could. Maybe farther back. So I think the most important thing about drawing a foot that's like from the side is just to kind of simplify it once again. I'm just going to simplify it into like a steep kind of angle like this. Oops, hold on. I can do this. Uh, I might have to change this a bit. Okay, maybe even steeper. So I can make it like this. And then obviously you got the bottom of the foot, you got the back of the foot. It's a little bit of arch, depending on how much arch you want, whatever, it's up to you. Draw the ankle bone. And I can even this out just a little bit, but I didn't add any toe. And then you can add a toe and you can add the knuckle in there if you want. And just kind of, there you go. This is very basic foot from the side kind of thing. And you can, you know, clean it up and make everything look a lot prettier if you wanted. But uh, the important thing is the heel. Well, not I don't know if it's an important thing, but I like to have the heel be kind of like a flat shape like that. Um, and even like if you're looking at it from the rear, like kind of have the heel be this kind of shape. Like just focus on the heel bone and the tendon and everything. It just kind of comes down like this, so instead of like rounding it out too much, you want to make sure it's kind of kind of really weighted on. <clears throat> okay. I guess I, I can try to shrink this person down, make it look like they're going up and away from us. Uh, let me see if I can do that. I don't like this foot that much. Just I like to say that for the record. I always like to have be on record saying when I think something sucks. So this one is a little parallel to us, but since we're a worm on the ground, uh, we can still kind of uh, make it shrink down because it's going up. It's hard to get it right though. Mm -hmm. Is that leg too short? It might be too short. 
I don't know. So this knee, since it's closer to us, we'd be seeing it much higher. And then this one, which would probably be down here-ish. So we got one knee, which would be up here. Let me think. I need to remember which way, because knees you can kind of simplify as like rectangles, but you want to make them off off kilter a little. So I'm trying to think of which, I can't remember which direction is the right direction. Well, whatever, who cares? Figure it out. If it looks awkward, I'll change it. It's the way to do things. Just try it and then expect it to fix the later. See, look at this. So th you see how much lower I made this knee to kind of, I'm just visually mental, mentalizing. I'm, I'm visually picturizing it. Um, okay. See, I wish I had more room because I'm just all over everything right now. Look at that, look at how low these uh, this leg will be compared to the other one. So if I had the crotch area somewhere in here, I would have to really make this go up, wouldn't I? Oh, I can't. Yeah, this this hand's in the way. It's blocking everything. Well, whatever. I can't, I ran out of room for this one, so that's fine. Anyway, we got, we got a leg looking kind of up. Uh, okay. Let me see what questions you got for me. Well, no one's got any questions. Jeez. Just gonna have to start making up stuff. So what are we doing? We got faces here. Yeah, let's do some faces. I've been, I know you guys love faces. No. Cynix, a question here. How did you get your first patrons? I don't know. Posted it like at the start of the year and bunch of people that like the YouTube videos wanted to help support me and do more videos. I guess I don't that there's no trick to it. I don't know if I would have done it a long time ago, I probably wouldn't have had any patrons. Um, I think uh, I just take it as people wanting me to make more YouTube content and wanting me to make more videos and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. What, I don't know how to answer that. Okay, let's see. Let's make some. Uh... Uh... Do buildings. Well, I would do building stuff, but I feel like this. I don't want to cover too many drastically different stuff in the same stream. And I already just kind of want this to be just about perspective anatomy or your anatomy or perspective or anatomy and perspective so i'll I'll do a building one uh i mean obviously we got plenty plenty of upcoming streams so i'll do a one that's on architecture um okay let's draw let's draw some crazy try to try to stump ourselves with them stupid faces um, so let's see what would be a good face angle to do. I, I feel like I already do a lot that are going straight up or straight down. How do you draw a crotch from under? Uh, what do you mean? 
from under. It's probably not that hard. I don't know. You mean like looking up? <laughs> Such a weird thing. See, the problem is I, you'd be getting, it depends on how much of a strong angle you want to go with. Um, but I guess you can just kind of make it like, oh, there's, there's the gut and these are legs. And, you know, obviously if it was being done properly, you'd have the legs coming down. You'd have the feet way up in front, like close to the camera. And then you'd have, there's the crotch and, you know, you can just kind of separate it and have the butt back in one side. Like, so here's your butt and, uh, it's your crotch. I don't know why. I don't know why this is ever gonna come in handy. Well, I guess it could, but this is not that interesting, really. Anyway, hmm. Zenith. Um, yeah, if you're trying to make a Patreon, and I would say it's, you probably, I don't know, it's it's probably not worth trying to make one until you feel like you have a, a fan base that, you know, wants more content from you, I guess. Because personally, I have, you know, regular jobs that I do and, you know, random stuff keeps me busy. I wish I could I wish I had the money to just, you know, do YouTube stuff all the time, but I don't. So it's basically giving people a chance to be like, hey, maybe if I get more money, which is true, I've been getting more money, so I've had more more like I, I feel less stress about just making videos more often, even though I haven't done that many. I've been making more art though, so that's good. Mm. Oops, that was an ugly foot thing. All right. Um, doesn't Psyker have a video? Did you guys want to see legs attaching to the torso? Is that your question? Um, okay, we can do that real fast. So, for our side view, remember how I talked about from the front? I always wanted my uh, my kind of whole pelvis area to look like this, this weird, like, uh, pentagon-ish shape. Um, from the side, I kind of, in my brain, I like to picture this kind of butt, the butt kind of hanging down, and then everything, oh, I actually messed that up. So I like to picture the butt, and then, like, uh, this kind of weird mechanical shape. I'm gonna come up forward, and this represents the hip bone and everything. Um, and I like this shape because it, I don't know, it, it seems very mechanical to me. It's like uh, some kind of weird gear thing. But anyway, so, and this can kind of find it, f follow the spine. So you got that curve there, obviously legs here. And when it comes to the, the backside of the butt, and the legs attaching to it, you can kind of, kind of like get away with doing anything. Like you can make them come straight. You can kind of like you don't have to worry that much about a connection because you're gonna have like a you want like some kind of creasing action going on. Um. So whatever you know. And then when it comes to the front, you can just kind of once again, like I did for the legs, maybe start the curve a bit higher. So you got, you know, once again, curve here and curve here. So one starting higher, one starting lower, makes it more organic. And I like to follow this, this whole butt shape with the gut or, you know, whatever, whatever area. So that can kind of follow out and go in front of the hip bone. And that's a very kind of natural way. So in your brain, you're always trying to find those relationships. Look, it's like a little egg thing. 
and you know this could actually do, then then once you have that established you know if they're standing up straight you can just kind of loop it around do whatever you want doesn't matter that much anyway but that's not that interesting so let's do it from the front a little bit Okay, so I'm gonna do my my standard uh, pentagon shape, whatever. <laughs> just have it there, and let's assume that's okay. There's actually I need more room. I keep closing myself off with not giving me enough room. Okay. So gonna make my pentagon thingy. And uh, if we want, we can just have, assume there's like the bodies up there. There's like a middle line. And um, you know, the hips, these are kind of represents just the base area, but we wanna like attach the legs, the widest part of like the whole body and the hips and everything. It's gonna come out, you know, farther where the whole joint is. Um, so we could kind of make that come out. And, you know, if it was realistic, we'd have uh, basically all that. Uh, oops, what was I going to say? Hold on, let me just fix that a little bit. Okay. I can't fix it. I'm stupid. Anyway, so widest part around here. This is going to be the widest part over here on each side. Then we're just going to come back in. And uh, for the for the leg, for it, the attachment, it's kind of, I like to have that little like, uh, little kind of attachment point here before I go into my whole shape. So instead of just coming straight, straight down like that, well, you can't actually, that works. But just for funsies, we're going to make a little bit of a line there. And that's actually kind of representing our, our butt. So we can have the butt kind of represented like that. And there we have like a, a thigh gap that's big enough to hold a baseball. <laughs> it's just, I don't know why that's there. Uh, but just for the purpose of, sh of showing you connections. And you can always do things like that. See, that's why instead of just having this shape, we could have that shape. Because it kind of represents that there's a butt or going on in there or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's draw something crazy perspective again. I gotta gotta come up with something fun. <clears throat> okay. Question by Susan Alex. When you draw vehicles and robots, do you always visualize it in real life? Um, to some extent, I like to I like to make sure it would move. So you know, if I'm gonna draw something and it's supposed to you know fold, and it's supposed to you know fold up here, and I have like a giant chunk of something that would prevent it from doing that. Um, that's like a problem. Or you know, like if you just have like a box with like a leg coming out and you're like, how's this leg going to move? Obviously. So I like to at least try to make sure it can move, you know, like maybe it doesn't function physically, maybe the weight's too high or something, but I like it if the joints feel like they can move anyway. Whee! I'm just gonna, mm, let's see. I'm gonna quickly do. <clears throat> okay, Faya is asking if I can do a face and fisheye perspective. That that might be a fun challenge. Let me see. Where can I find some space? So let's pretend. Ooh, what should we pretend? Like the nose is. Yeah, let's just pretend we're like get the camera right on the nose. Because obviously with the fisheye, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Just depending on if it's right in front of the forehead, right in front of the chin right in front of the nose. So let's, maybe we can try a, a bit of everything and we'll see how it goes. Um, so obviously we just wanna focus on a big, hmm, 
wish I had a little bit more room. Maybe over... Well, I don't need this one that much. I'm just gonna empty it out a little bit. Okay. Right in here. So, obviously it's helpful if I can remember how to make a nose look good, which, you know, comes and goes some days. I wanna really focus on the, the bulb of the nose whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't quite look right, but... Okay. Actually, if we were going to a really strong fisheye, I could probably shrink down the nostrils a bit and just really have like the nose be like this. Cause then it, okay. Actually, I should do that. Screw this, this isn't extreme enough. Let's go really extreme. I don't wanna go halfway. Okay. Uh, so the nose, the nostrils are gonna be actually be more narrow than the, the nose because it's gonna be such an extreme fisheye. And then the top of the nose is just going to be going straight back like this a little bit. This is, this might be good. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go really crazy you see we're like twisting things around so obviously to unrealistic lengths so everything's just gonna get smaller as we get away from this uh this nose focal point so we can have the eyes obviously i'm not just gonna roughly loose <laughs> loosely rough them in roughly loose them in and nose once again it's like get smaller get smaller as we go away but it can still be some you know fun playfulness kind of going around let me get rid of some of this give myself a little more room Okay. Um, let's just do the other eye. Nothing, nothing too complicated. And the forehead, obviously, it's just gonna keep getting smaller. Everything's gonna be shrunken down the farther it gets away. And then we can widen things out a little bit. I think, okay, a little bit like that. Mm. And the chin can kind of be elongated downward, but getting really narrow like this that makes sense to me right does that make sense just using our brain power to try to figure it out <laughs> maybe you can see every little pore on his face because they're so zoomed in <laughs> how gross would that be
Okay. Gonna get rid of this. Let's see if we can make it even go crazier. Okay, give me some space here, people. Okay, I'm gonna actually shrink the jaw a little bit more. Maybe more like that. And then bring it down like this. I want to do some little bit of hair, obviously can't really choke it that much because it'd be pretty hidden. Maybe he can have like some mustache going on. <laughs> and I'm trying to think if I should just how crazy the perspective would get if it just kept going down in the same similar angle. I can mess with it just a little bit. <laughs> I'm just amusing myself. Should I, should I try to make a hand coming forward? Would that be too difficult? I don't know. Oops, that's not good. Hold on. Ah. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, I can't do it. Okay. Okay, hold on. Ow, okay. Okay. That's super weird. Super disturbing. I think I could actually make this more extreme. Let's keep trying. Let's make it crazier.
Oops, okay. Mm, like this. <laughs> oh my god. Is this the greatest thing ever? Possibly. Sorry, it doesn't all fit on the screen. Okay. <laughs> um, what's next? We did our attempt at fisheye. It's not it's weird. I think the whole body kind of ruins it because fisheye it probably should be getting even more like distorted and crazy. Like the whole body would probably just fit in like this little tiny area instead of uh, being way down there. Maybe I can fix it a little bit. Hold on. Uh, woo. Okay. Uh, oop. Messed that up. Hold on. Okay. And if I just move this up, will that Let's see. Eh, whatever. I don't really care that much. Anyway, what's, what's the next craziness for us to try? Um, let's see, challenge. Why you guys always want me to draw Psychra? Aren't you tired of me drawing Psychra yet? Um, <clears throat> There's all kinds of weird perspective things going on in this whole page. It's freaking me out. Did Psychrid tell me how to draw him? I don't know. I must have missed that if he did. Um, I'm trying to think of what would be a good challenge, not a challenge, but just something to showcase. And for the record, this is Painter. It's always, it's always Painter every time you guys ask. Um, okay. I 
I'm just gonna draw some people like tumbling around or something, flipping through space maybe. Cause that's should be fun. Maybe I'll go less extreme on the perspectives. Oops, I mean to do that. Ah. That looks terrible. Mm, okay. Well, screw this one. Why does everyone keep saying the words dynamic fat? I don't know what dynamic fat means. What does dynamic fat mean? Stop saying these words. Dynamic fat. Do you just mean draw fat and crazy angle? Oh god, that's a, it's an ugly foot thing. It is a foot. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's even worse. This whole leg is just bugging me. Arr. Okay. Bye bye feet. I hardly knew ye. Draw a super obese Spider Man swinging. Do a barrel roll. Mm. This is bugging me just because I can't draw these feet properly. Okay, whatever. Don't care. Let it go, man. Let's make them super simple and be done with it.
ドゥルルドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥ I don't know. I don't know how to draw. Hold on. I'm gonna, this might take a couple attempts because I don't know. I, I gotta figure it. I gotta look at it first and then decide. <laughs> Just ignore this for now. Just having fun. Uh, okay, I know what not to do now. Now I can try again and again and see how it goes. <laughs> Why is this hand so weird? Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, great. Um, hold on. Trying to think of a really weird angle to draw a head at, just for my own sake. Okay, let me think. Uh. Oops, I don't like that. Okay, anyway.
Hmm. And draw some upside down heads real fast. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to draw some upside down psych grids for a little bit, try to get one that looks right. That one does not look right. I think it's this eye. Maybe. Could have placed it farther over here, maybe. Just be higher up. Do, do, do. That does not look good at all. Well, that's fine. Am I listening to any music? No. You guys would hear it if I was. Can't listen to music while I stream. It would just come through the microphone. That's not a good fade. It's like he's dancing. Okay. Ah, I just took the mic. Sorry, everyone. Oops, I had so much more room that I didn't even know about. Oh well. I don't actually care. Draw Psyker giving birth to himself. Okay. I would. I feel like Bob, that's a Bob question. That's a Bob suggestion, rather.
Yeah, this guy's doing like a very dynamic cartwheel. Let's see, what would what does your hand do when you're doing a cartwheel? Maybe. Yeah, something like that. There, he's doing a dynamic cartwheel. Does it? <laughs> Those are his feet. Those aren't nipples. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Oops. Ah, I don't like that. Whatever. Ah! Startled me. I've been trying to evolve my style in my free time. Still haven't figured it out. I'm really into these uh, really, really uh, boxy faces these past couple days. Little neck and big boxy heads. Oops, not like that. Ah. Rawr. My little squinty eyes. Why am I blue? It shouldn't be blue. It should be black. I really want to draw like little old Chinese ladies and that will make me happy. I haven't figured out how I want to do the nose. The nose is tricky. The nose has been giving me the most trouble lately. Okay, I'll I'll not make the jaw so strong.
I could totally make this in the <laughs> Kim Jong Un. Just go like this. Oh, now he just looks like a little Asian kid, actually. Never mind. Don't care. Sorry, looks like I'm running out of steam, so that usually means this thing's almost over. I notice I'm not talking as much. It's never a good sign. Ah. Okay. So what can we do to close this off? Ha! Ah, I can do it, I can do it. Eh, close enough. Female figure, bird's eye, female figure, worm's eye, female figure, bird's eye. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, trying to make a head I like. Think of a cool hair. That's not a cool hair. Well, whatever. <laughs> anyway. Just get rid of some of this stuff. <laughs> I can't make it out. Anyway, we're going to figure it out. Nothing I did with hair was good. Whatever. Instead of drawing, I'm just going to do another one. This character is going to be a... 
Sally plain and tall, I can tell. Oops, do it this way. Do, 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 do. This is not going to count. I'm just doing this for funsies. Okay, whatever. Let's go back a little bit. Boop. Not that way. Uh, okay, here's some space. I am going to draw something. See, the problem is when I think of bird's eye view, I, it sounds so boring because it's like super top. I don't want to be so far away. So when we're drawing like shoulders and everything, torso, we can kind of focus on them like this. If we want to draw some of the back, we could have the torso. Shoulder blades kind of coming out a little bit. Stuff like that. I'll, I'll get to the head later. I'll add it in. We can just add the triangle where it would be. We can add some boobs if we wanted. And this would be like super top down bird view. And everything would get so tiny so fast that you probably wouldn't even see anything. Like, you can be like, oh, there's. There's a leg. It goes. Maybe it goes over here. Maybe there's a foot over there. And there's a foot over here. And it's so far away. So I don't want to do anything from that extreme. Um, let's see. I guess we can have some fun and pretend it goes out this way a little bit. We can draw a butt. It's like they're flying. I don't like that butt though. That butt was not a good butt. Wee! Yeah, I don't really care about this angle. Try, try, try again. Mm, where, where, where? Oops. Let me see if I could find a better angle. Ah. I'm really running out of space over here. I'm 
So I'm just going to draw a face and be done with it. Because I am out of like time. I'm out of energy. So sorry I can't do even more stuff. But I think we learned some interesting things today. Covered some anatomy. Covered some... Uh, what else did we cover? Perspective stuff. Mainly anatomy though, right? Just all the anatomy stuff. All the time. Dynamics, perspective, whatever. This guy does not need that. All right, so that's going to be it. We're going to close this off. And <laughs> and I will just talk to you guys later. So, thanks for watching. I hope it was fun. We did some interesting drawings. Let's go over and look at them. Woo! We got this crazy fisheye guy. We had some arms going toward, arms going away. A torso from the top. I don't know. A dynamic fat cartwheel i don't know what that is chubby cannonball asian grandma girl floating through space some foot some feet from the worm's perspective going up uh what do we got we got a girl here just building building anatomy just procedurally building anatomy that was fun right maybe had a leg going away. She's kicking a ball. Not your ball. And those faces were what I warmed up with. So, yeah. It was fun. Alright. I will see you guys all later. Maybe we'll do some fun stuff sometime. Alright. Have a good time. Have a good night. Have a good sleepy time. Go rest your tired eyes. And I will see you guys later. Oop, I gotta close it. Can't just say, can't just say it. Thanks everyone.